you see four Asian tigers behind me. The four Asian tigers is a term used in reference to Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan and Hong Kong. In combination with the strong development of their economies, their chemical control legislation is also developing, like for instance K-REITs in Korea and the revision of the Toxic Chemical Substance Control Act in Taiwan. A lot to chew on. There are especially challenges for industry that like to be prepared for the changes. Today we focus on the legislation in Taiwan, a topic I will discuss with Mei Yong Song from Merck and Joe Lee from Satec. Welcome. Before we get into the difficult questions, I'd like to start with an easy one. Mayong and Joet, what were you doing in 1996? Okay, so 1996 is a quite a long time ago. Oh. So, yeah. So, at the time, I was still studying at university. Very good. And Joet, what were you doing? I put on two proposals actually in 1996. Oh. One was my PhD study program, and secondly, was my proposal to my wife. Um, Joe, could you tell me what to expect on the revisions of the Toxic Chemical Substance Control Act and the Occupational Safety and Health Act? Yes, uh, as TJ just men mentioned about, it's a lot of things to chew on, particularly only focus on Taiwan's TASCA and uh, um, Occupational Safety and Health Act. Both, pay, uh, both regulations pay quite a lot of attention on chemical management recently with the inspiration of EU reach as well as other jurisdiction. So on top of the registration, I would like to mention about the SDS, as well as hazard communication. Also in the Ministry of Labor, which is the uh, Occupational Safety and Health Act, require health exposure assessment in the workplace, as well as some prioritized chemical substance and the chemicals require annual reporting and that we should put more attention on that which is life cycle management inside and outside the workplace as well. Okay and looking at the current revisions, Mei Yong, what do you believe are the challenges for industry with these revisions? So actually the Taiwan requirement is an quite comparable with the European, uh, European LICHI requirement and also from other Asian regulation. However, the Taiwan regulation does not have any threshold limit which triggers uh, new chemical registration. So, many challenges indeed for industry. Uh, Joe, one important challenge uh, for companies is uh, confidential business information. Uh, how will confidential nominations be kept confidential? Yeah, CBI, I have to agree with you, that's the most important things in the industry as well, not to mention in the res res regulatory domain. And uh, there was a long discussion and the decision we have right now, already the regulation requirement, offer the uh, possibility of CBI claim. Once your CBI comply with the criteria and you, uh, you receive the, uh, the CBI protection, your identification of your chemical substance will be listed only by the serial number and the genetic name. Also, in addition to this uh, a listing on inventory for new chemical substance, we also offer the application for CBI as well. Uh, you are entitled to, to, to be protected for at least five years plus another 10 years. So we're currently in the phase of pre-registration, ending 31st of March 2016. Uh, Merck probably uh, pre-registered a lot of substances. If a supplier would refuse to provide the chemical identity, are there any alternatives then for completing the report? Yeah. So although a supplier refused to provide the chemical composition information, there is a still possibility to manage the uh, phase one registration. But this one has to be done based on the cooperation between supplier and the importer. Joe, what are the next steps after the pre-registration? Who will review the data, for instance? The reviewing is ongoing as we are speaking. So uh, we want to make sure that we collect the information that's really necessary for the uh, regulatory perspective as well as our assessment. So the phase one uh, registration is definitely going to be reviewed and it, it is being reviewed right now for prioritization purpose primarily. That's talking about the tonnage ban, the usage, the identification of chemical substance will be used to uh, identify the chemical substance which will be announced as the uh, so-called phase one standard registration later on and this list will be announced by the end of 2017. On top of that, we exercise to get some uh, hazard information 
from the uh, database or exercise that have been done past in the in the uh, regulator uh, domain. We also going to use the information for prioritization as well. So the tonnage, the usage, as well as the hazards are the key elements will be used in the prioritization exercise. And also uh, following this uh, exercise, the candidate list will be proposed and make it public for general comment, and especially from the stakeholder, especially industry and NGO and other general publics. Uh, Mei Yong, um, let's switch to another topic, uh, to chemical notification for new chemicals. Uh, what guidance documents are available? Uh, there are quite some useful guidance documents from the Taiwan authorities. So I think the one of the most helpful the guidance is the new chemical registration guidance document. Yes. In this document, you can, find, you can find how you identify your chemical and also what is uh, the requirement of data and also how you fill in the document. So it's quite details is mentioned. And also additionally, you can find uh, the generic name rule so because the Taiwan regulation allows uh, the CBI claim, so yes. and you have to provide the generic name according to Taiwan regulation. So you can also find this uh, the guideline. But the most of the documents are available in Chinese. <laughs> but I believe you can still buy some translated document. Yeah. Is there a procedure for a company to import new chemicals notified by another company? So in the meaning, it's not yet listed on the inventory, but... So as far as I know, there is, there is uh, not yet this kind of a processor. But I think the after the phase one registration and when the companies started some registration and worked together to prepare data, I guess there will be also some solution. We consider that new chemicals is a highly uh, industry driven exercise and the regulator should not get involved with that too much in terms of uh, how to call all these potential joint registration uh, together. It should not be a government's responsibility or even their daily job to do. However, in the supply chain, you might have this uh, need to come up with uh, partners or upstream, downstream user manufacturer to register it all together. From the regulator's perspective, we consider that a totally different chemical substance. Mm -hmm. In this case, we can make this job easier uh, also to assure some confidential business information in here not to jeopardize when the first registrant uh, did a job and second one the third one tried to copy it so there's also some trade back, trade back inside this exercise okay i mean for compliance driven companies like merck i think uh, good enforcement is important eh? because you don't want to have free riders uh, so how do you experience enforcement uh, I think there, we were also told a lot of the activities on the preparation from the government. So as uh, Joey has mentioned, there, there will be some the process uh, during the customs clearance. Uh, you have to declare your the registration. And also the, in the industry, so there is quite the atmosphere to encourage the compliance culture. Very good. Well, actually, uh, can I have something to add about the inspections over here? exercise that as a hinder to the international trade. So aftermarket inspection with some uh, self-declaration would be the approach that the Taiwan government is trying to do, particularly on the uh, registration aspect. In addition to that, I want to mention about the SDS and also prioritization management chemical substance is also subject to aftermarket inspection. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, our focus are all on the registration, but I have to mention SDS is a very important exercise in Taiwan. Um, starting January 1st this year, 2016. Thank you both for all the useful information. I hope it will help industry to be well prepared for all their compliance challenges.